So, hello. Martin here again. First video in 2024. I did, on the 1st of January, I did a sketch into my sketchbook. Yeah, this one, this one above. And because of the comments I got with this uh, posting on Instagram, I decided now that we can uh, draw together a scene from this farmer house with more things around it. And of course we do it with ink and watercolor. So the whole video will show you the process in real time, so no speed up, no no big edits, edits or cut. So this is our main subject for today's video. In this uh, case I want to try that I am drawing only one subject, the roof, and then immediately we will color it with watercolor. So not a finished uh, line work, then shadowing, then coloring, or uh, coloring and then a shadowing. No, so we start with maybe the farmer's house or something in the foreground, doing the line work, coloring it, and then the next line work for the next subject. We'll see how it turns out. Let's do one nice, let's see, uh, here's the, here should be the farmer's house, and then, so that this is our horizon line, and then there's something is in the foreground, something in the background. And this is why I only do it with pen till. But I don't do a, 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 a pre-drawing, a pencil drawing. We or I start immediately with the with ink, with fountain pen, or with uh, these graphic pens. So let's see. Yeah, let's say we have our farmer house here, and then some trees here, and then here's some something around the house, and another house for the for the animals maybe, and then more trees. So um, yeah, and there will be one tree in the foreground, and uh, in front of the farmer's house, so it will overlap the part of the the farmer house. And we can start with some basic so there are maybe two steps up. And in this case I want to use the field pen. These field pens have this nice banded uh, nib. And so that we can have a nice thick line or shadows. And you immediately see and you immediately see how it turns out. So as I mentioned before, no pre-drawing, no line work and then shadowing we do or I like to do everything together. So um then we have this one pillow here. It's it's a wooden pillow. And then, of course, we have this terrace. And, of course, we need a, a shadow under these. Then I will as well at this side. Okay. Um, and then here is the the other pillow. Okay. 
we we think that the sun is coming from right above right so this will be the shadow with the roof so there is a going far down um, and then yeah, and then we have here so this some more wooden something like a fence ah okay no that's that, that that's one of uh that's a mistake one time it's behind and there it's in front of the the pillows so let's took bring them in front as well here and it's much more fun when the shadows and the, the thinner lines are, are drawn together in one step so and then let's see here's the left side of this house this cabin the right side of it and then we need one roof and these roofs should also protect this uh, terrace here as well on this side so and then we have this middle part let's do some marks here and then we have this uh, smaller part of the roofs on the left and the right side And then we have uh, another part here. So then we try to find the middle, let's say it would be here, something like this, and then we draw our line to the rooftop, ah, this is not in the same high. height, not in the same height. Okay, then let's do some shadows here so that don't that nobody recognize the mistake about the height. And I want to separate this smaller roof. And now the thickness. here a chimney the shadow some antenna or what else, whatsoever let's do a shadow here So this is the nice thing about these field pens that you 
can do when you turn it upside down you can do this uh, smaller lines and the thicker lines with this uh, bended part of the pen okay but a little bit more here and then we start with the first one smaller window here Uh, let's zoom in a little bit that and for a window <clears throat> with a square or something like a rectangle and then we have a shadow here sun is coming from this side so we have to shut the other shadows here then we have because sun is coming from this side here a light part the sun is shining here and then we have the darker room behind so so you see, very loose but recognizable uh, as a window. Mm. I hope so. And um, <coughs> so let's see, then there's a room, there is the bed, and then we have two other windows, bigger windows here. I'm just thinking if I filled this pen up with soluble ink. Maybe I should try this so that I can think about it while drawing. So we let this dry and then I see if it's, if it's, I should mark it. I always, I always talk to myself, Martin, make a sign. Oh no, I will recognize it. I will remember it. Oh. Uh, okay. So the same idea here was the shadows and the, the, the cross of the window and then another one here. The shadow side, and we have three nice windows. Yo, yo, so something like pillows here, and then let's see the this part of the roof is a construction like this. Ah, and then we of course need the thickness of the roof. And then, also like this one, we have one here as well. So let's do, and then we do the first shadows with the Steloid um, water brushes I showed you before. So the whole video will show you the process in real time, so no speed up, no, no big edits, edits or cut out things, only when I am speaking the wrong, the wrong way, uh, but so we can, uh, you can draw with me. Let's do some ornaments here, so like 
Nice. And then here we have as well some ornaments. So here, yep. Shadow. Shadow part here. Yeah, and then um, so that we do something. Not always this. Ah, yeah, I would, I would uh, try to. Here I have my travel brush. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's what the resistant. That's what the proof. So. And here I have the ink, so this is the lighter one, I think, and in the other, this one. These are from Karan de Arche. I hope I spell it right. And then you can squeeze it here, and then it's coming out the, the liquid. And so for a first shadow shading, this is quite turns out well so that we can well, we can do it a little bit more fancier with the shadows here on the on the roof and so that's it for now but uh, now we draw here this is uh, doors, a door here in the middle. Let's see, there's another step. And of course this uh, house is uh, from fantasy. Of course with elements from real world. I maybe saw them or I combined them and that's the result. So here we have a window and then there is the side of the door. And we have here this part, the frame around the door. And then of course there's a number and a plate here. And here uh, something to to sit here. And there's a shadow underneath. Yeah, our house is growing or built up and I forgot, I forgot the tree so we have to do another uh, building here because I was thinking about the tree here. So the tree is then behind it and let's say we have uh, another part of the house which is built here. Uh, 
and this is like here. And there we have our tree, which then as well uh, is in the foreground, as well as other parts like another fence or something like this. Uh, so and then we have here something is standing here in the front. And we can, ah oh yeah, let's do so, uh, two windows and then we do the, the first, uh, the first coloring. So we have here. That is in the height of the four and really it is simple windows. maybe not everything black there because there is a, a curtain I don't know the word these things <laughs> are behind the window curtain I think or am I right or not I will check it later so but there is gray and then I have this water brush and there is a, okay it's not that light and there's still wet the ink. Okay, now then let's do shadow as well here. And here under the, okay. And now let's do some uh, color. Yeah, let's try. Okay, let's start with the coloring. I use two sizes, one smaller. It's a number, no, it's eight, number eight. And a larger one, number 16. No, this is also a smaller one. Well, let's take this one. This is a number 16. Okay, I think it's number 16, I can't read it anywhere. Um, this house should be very bright, shiny. And there's a touch of of red as well here. And then the roof, more grayish, bluish gray with indigo and black or cobo uh, blue and black. Normally you should angle the, the surface, the pad, a little bit so the color is floating only in one direction. One direction, yes. A band in the 80s or 70s, 80s, 90s. So... And then the same color as above for the 
the main part of the house very loose very much water used here and yes normally you you would um, add the shadows after the coloring but not in this case so why not do things in another way that's not forbidden and a darker brown mixed with black for these terrace wooden terrace and here we do some shadowing something like this and the door also here okay you see loose nice fast and yeah, maybe no this is the the end of the for a little bit more color i can do this bluish yeah ah, 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 ah. that's not good that's not good because it was not dry you see i will do a shadow then there Now let's go on with these, this building here and there we have a roof something like that. So I make short lines to separate that roof from that one. It also can be a building behind the main house. And there we have these. These other type of windows. a separation here so let's say this is concrete and here we have um, wood so panels wooden panels shadow and here a fence the tree in the foreground some grass stone there's the shadow on the left side Okay, now we need some colorful contrast and we do this with the, we need the roof here.
some water to lift up the the color here. And then we add a shadow on this side when this uh, red paint is dry. The wooden part. And the concrete build part and then we need some green I always mix the green with some yellow and blue and more yellow So you see here we, uh, we can yeah we can do the shadow part and as well we need some contrast more here. under the roof here. Nice little scene of a farmer house. Some blue here. Yeah, and of course more dark contrast. So here. much paint so that we get a nice contrast as well here now we can do some sparkles So I think for now this is okay, this is fine. Hope it was I hope it was a little bit helpful for you and you enjoyed drawing this and um, like always you can ask me anything in the in the comments and you can also send me my, uh, in the link under the video, there is a link to my Instagram account and then you can message me or send me when you draw this uh, subject, this farmer house. 
so would be interesting uh, would how how it turns out in uh, how it turns out in your way okay bye for now but I will more finish this one and then uh, post the, the final picture on Instagram okay bye <laughs>